because Pakistan lives in a constant state of denial, denial about its role in sponsoring terror across the border, denial over its two-faced policy on extremism and violence, and denial over a situation at home created by these very policies which have now begun exploding in its own face. Watch this report on what has been happening on the ground in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir and you'll come to know how Pakistan can no longer hide the truth about an implosion just waiting to happen. This is Pakistan's ugly truth. People protesting in the streets of Pakistan-occupied Kashmir raising pro-India slogans and crying out that they don't want to stay in Pakistan anymore. Though DD News cannot independently vouch for these pictures, the news channel that exposed Pakistan's lies about life in POK says such mass protests erupted in different parts, including Muzaffarabad, Gilgit and Kotli. The protesters decried lack of development in the area and freedom among citizens. The protesters can be clearly heard saying they want to go to India as India is better than Pakistan. Reacting to the protests in POK, Union Minister Jitendra Singh said that people across the line of control have been denied basic rights and facilities for a long time and the anger is now spilling into the streets. के काफी लंबे समय से कई वर्षों से इस प्रकार की वहां पर बेचैनी का वातावरण रहा है पाकिस्तान के अधिकृत क्षेत्र में जो लोग रह रहे हैं वो अपने आप को वंचित महसूस कर रहे हैं प्रजातांत्रिक अधिकारों के दृष्टि से भी विकास की दृष्टि से भी और मूल सुविधाएं उपलब्ध हो उसकी दृष्टि से भी ये बार-बार प्रदर्शन भी होते रहे हैं लेकिन किसी ना किसी तरह से पाकिस्तान सरकार इन प्रदर्शनों को ज्यादा बाहर मीडिया में ना आए इसका वो किसी ना किसी तरह से योजना बना करके काम करती रही पीओके इज दैट पार्ट ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर व्हिच इज अंडर पाकिस्तान्स डी फैक्टो कंट्रोल the Pakistani army has been violating human rights in POK for a long time, which has angered its residents. It's alleged that young boys have resisted being drafted into Pakistan's terror campaign in the region. Pakistan's ISI has reportedly been taking young boys away forcibly. Mass protests have broken out because of such atrocities and the use of army's iron hand to crush have only made matters worse for Pakistan. If the world needed any more proof of how Pakistan's policy of sponsoring terror across the border and overseas has blown up in its own face, these pictures speak louder than words. Newsnight Desk, DD News.